Hello and welcome to uh, yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking a look at visual second brain apps and the three first I'm going to show you or the three note taking apps I'm going to show you first will be best for those of you who work in design so work with a lot of pictures even color swatches that's uh, these apps are for you the two last ones can work for everyone actually ev all of these can work for everyone you don't have to work in design but if you save a lot of pictures then the three first apps might be best suited for you but you have to pick the one that you like the most anyways this first one is called my mind and my mind is basically a search engine for your mind you can organize things into different spaces but apart from that there isn't too much organization luckily we have great search inside of this so you can search for colors you can search for tags and it uses ai to uh, automatically tag the things you put inside of here so you will be able to retrieve it later the same goes for this it is a tweet and it does a great job at capturing for example for this one i just took the link from a tweet and I posted it in here. The same goes for this. It does a great job with pictures as well. Uh, so I have a few things inside of here, even outfits I have inside of here as well. A lot of people use this as a bookmark, uh, bookmarking tool, but it works great as as a note-taking app as well the only thing that is a problem with this is that you may end up having a few duplicate uh, duplicates of your notes when you get a lot of notes into here but they are uh, at least their website mentioned that they are going to implement um uh, backlinks inside of here as well but as you can see search is lightning fast and it is uh, really good as well and um, here you have the different commands for what you can search for so I could search for yesterday and find all of my notes from yesterday or last week if I wanted to do that a lot of amazing stuff inside of this app and it is really one to consider this year the next app we have is called walling and this is sort of a project manager which can which can be used as a note-taking app you can build up what they call bricks or walls with bricks in them and you can have a lot of stuff in here like i did this for a youtube video where i just put some of my youtube thumbnails inside of here but let's see if i can find my resources here i have a lot of notes inside of here this doesn't do a great job for long notes so if you want to write long notes this probably isn't the best app but for basic short notes as well as project management and to-do lists this does an amazing job and it is a really beautiful looking app as well here you can see from their own board how this looks and they have a bunch of templates as well and they recently added AI and um, allowing AI to build out a board for you that is available in the pro plan and the pro plan um, is actually worth it I was on the pro plan for a while uh, but I decided to try out another app because I tend to take longer notes but if you take a lot of short notes and you just want a way to organize all of your different thoughts with pictures and notes and you like to sort of build your own walls uh, this is great and it does a great job at presenting as well as publishing so you can easily publish something to the web and send the link to anyone you would want uh, to have the link and be able to see this so it does a great job there as well that's what they are trying to be they are trying to be a way for you to publish or show off your different walls uh, but the app does a great job at note taking and being a second brain or even uh, a system for just having control in your life and the last one I am going to show you for people who work a lot with pictures or store a lot of pictures 
is called Melanote. And Melanote I have covered before and a lot of people know this app. But this is a way for you to create an infinite canvas board, which they call it. And you can put different things. That is pictures. It is... Um, it is notes, you can link different things from websites and save it. So there are a lot of opportunities with this as well. And it has a great web clipper, just like my mind. I would say that my mind and um, Milanote probably has the best web clippers of these apps. It has an okay mobile app as well. It isn't the best best but it works and it has a quick capture on mobile which i think is really really good because a lot of the times when we are on the go we just want to capture something and we can organize it later uh, so organization inside of this is really really easy there are a lot of ways you can actually organize and you can decide everything yourself so this is quite basic but i could add a table inside of here or I could even add a note or maybe I wanted my to-do list to be shown at the front. There are a lot of different opportunities with this app uh, and that is the three first ones. These are the best again for working with pictures and working with a lot of visual stuff but if you want to work with a lot of text and still want a visual note-taking app, I have two options for you. The first one is actually uh, called Scrintle. And these, both of these last two apps are in early development, so you will have to be patient. But um, Scrintle recently added tasks, which means that every time you're inside of a card and you make a to-do, let's say I wanted to make a to-do here, it uses markdown as well, uh, to-do, You will, it will be shown in your uh, tasks, which is great. That is a feature it, uh, it has lacked for a while now. This is basically like a lot of the other apps I've talked about. It is boards and cards inside of boards and boards inside of boards as well. So I could add another board into here. So I could create a board and have a board live inside of another board. But it works with cards and you can change the color of these cards. And they have a neat sidebar here as well, which I think is really cool. Um, it is similar to something like Heptabase, which is the last app I will talk about, but um, this is probably the thing it does better than Heptabase is its sidebar. Uh, again, I think it's a really cool feature and just being able to see the backlinks of a board where a board appears, as well as all of the different cards in a board. This works great with longer notes and it works great with short notes as well. I have a longer one here and you can put this into full screen mode and just write or you can have it like this. It has backlinking as well so you can link different things together by using the at symbol. It isn't the at symbol here, it is the plus actually. So it is the plus and not the at symbol here. Uh, and you can link it to something else or you could uh, just link it using its uh, using this instead, but just by dragging instead of linking. And the backlinks will actually appear here as well, which is really cool. Another neat feature. Uh, and this is probably good for a Zettle custom system and just in general a beautiful looking note-taking app. The last one I'm going to show you is called Heptabase and it is really similar to Scrintle but it has a couple of features that 
features that Squintle lacks. The first one is that you can actually, I had to clear out my tasks, but you can actually have a date on your tasks. You can't do that inside of uh, Squintle. You can't date a task. So here it shows today, upcoming, overdue, and no due date. And the way this works is that inside of a whiteboard, uh, let's try out the resources whiteboard. I could open this up again. It is really small and I want it to be really small because it is my notes and I don't want to show everything on YouTube, but I could open this up and I could add a task and we can use mark down here as well. Go for, for a walk and it would appear inside of my tasks and it is done. Um, and another thing it has is actually um, databases using super tags. So once you tag something, it can be stored in a database or even in a Kanban view. And this app has a Readwise integration as well, which is really good, and a journal page, which is basically a daily page where you can write down your things before you move them somewhere somewhere else. Similar to the inbox, which Walling had. I love a feature like this inside of a note-taking app. They have a mobile app as well, which is getting better every day. And um, just in general, a beautiful looking, intuitive and easy to use note taking app. So that's all of my visual note taking apps, all of the ones I found. If I didn't mention some, comment them down below and I will take a look at them. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below as well. And I hope to see you again quite soon.